Hello everyone. Welcome to a update of the Corsa E. It's been to Lincoln for the weekend. Drives incredibly well. Very impressed with its acceleration, its residual braking or whatever they call it. Handling, the smoothness, the quietness, the response. It flies along. I've only driven it still in in uh, economy. Absolutely great. I have charged it up since I got home. I shall do a charging video as I gather more and more information. Uh, I'm delighted with it. As you know, I was delighted with the service from Matt at um, Pentagon in Nottingham. There is an add-on to that. When I uh, when I got the car home, and uh, within five minutes of getting home, I had a courtesy call with Matt, actually. One of these things was missing. This one was missing here. It holds a parcel shelf. Um, within five minutes, Matt had ordered, emailed me and ordered a replacement I have subsequently found the indicators don't cancel at the at the right time I'll just switch it on and I'll show you what I mean Any Peripheral stuff, really. Shut the door. At the end of the day, it's a second-hand car. It was a courtesy car, and uh, it's had sort of probably 100 and 200 drivers, and nobody's ever going to take it back and say this doesn't work. So indicators. That's the right-hand indicator working. As I turn the steering, very early you'll hear the click. there that was a click for cancellation and it cancelled put the left hand indicator on and then we listen for the click again there so the steering wheel's gone a little bit further and we've got the click so it will cancel sometimes you neither get the click therefore it doesn't cancel it does it every time every time I'm sat here it does it without without failing when I'm driving for some reason it doesn't doesn't always click so Matt did report that onto their service department this was this was only about half past ten Thursday <coughs> So, like I said, I'm dead impressed with everything to do with sales. Unfortunately, at the moment, the service department is on a fail because he, Matt emailed them, asked them to call me to arrange to have the car booked in, and they didn't. That was Thursday afternoon. Well, Thursday morning, actually. It was like half past ten Thursday. So, they had, they had all afternoon to call me. They didn't. So, the service department are on a fail. Um... I will email again, Matt again because I've also found out that the front sensors don't work on the it has collision it has collision stuff uh, safety uh, active safety brake that's it I think it doesn't work and the front sensors don't work for parking again it's not an issue it's 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 not, it's not had an owner. Consequently, nobody will know what's wrong. Other than that, it, I'm as chuffed as bits. I'm as chuffed as bits with the service I got from Pentagon. As you know, I'm as chuffed as bits with the way I was treated in Pentagon, the service I got, the way the guys treated me in there. The only thing at the moment up to yet, Pentagon's service department are on a fail and uh, let's hope they uh, 
they do better on Tuesday when they're back at work. So that's my little update on the Corsa Electric. It does show the muck. You probably can't see it on this, but it does show the muck. So I'm going to have to keep it clean. You can have a roof rack. So I'm I've been wondering if it would take a roof tent, a small roof tent, one of those canvas ones. Go outdoors to a small roof tent. I'm wondering if it will take one. That's going to be interesting. So, those of you that are listening, watching, have you any experience with roof tents? Have any of you experienced a roof tent that's for sale and go outdoors? And of course, anybody who's got one of these Corsair Electrics and the um, equivalent Mocha Stroke Peugeot 208, contact me, let's compare some notes. I've got some super cool red edged mats. Good match as well on the red. Uh, Amazon, of course. I'll post a link to those in the description because they do red, blue, various colours. They are fitted mats and they have a they have the press stud system to keep them in place. So that's it guys. Update on the Corsa. I'll be back later in the week on the Corsa to tell you about the economy. I've got I think I've clocked up a hundred miles since I've had it. One of the things on these stupid car reviews I've seen these other guys do, they talk about the position of the stalks. Because they say they appear, well, when you're driving, the steering wheel's naturally sculpted to hold it there or there, probably more so there, at your fingertip. So what those guys were saying, I don't know. That's it. just another criticism of these motoring, motoring journalists. I guess I guess they only want to test Teslas or electric Range Rovers. Anyway, that stopped them. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. More in the week. Something about being sixty-five. Also in the week and men's fashion in the week for the disconcerting older gentlemen amongst us because um, I've been in Primark and got a couple of new outfits see you later cheers